today's session we are going to talk about design and development of ar vr integrated sessions this is one of the most emerging technology you will find in any area of work these days whether it is about academics or it is about industrial revolution ar and vr are two most commonly or popularly used talking technologies we will think about so many basic concepts first of all because i consider that most of you are beginner with this technology i hope so instead of going ahead with very vast concepts we will be talking about basics that how these technologies are playing role in different areas at the same time i'll be showing you several videos throughout the session because ar and vr are something that you can experience with the help of special equipments only so we cannot create that visualization right here but still with the help of videos there will be so many videos you can say like uh, entire session will be about videos itself just to give you an idea about how these technologies work in different sectors and how you can involve it in teaching sector as well for training your students or to conduct some uh, sessions within your organization so starting with the introduction or the overview of these technologies what they represent basically first we have is augmented reality the name itself indicates that it has something to do with your surroundings the common difference between ar and vr as you can see the name augmented reality and virtual reality in case of augmented reality we try to bring all those digital things into our life wherever we are for example in this particular classroom we can create some effects of technology and maybe we can plant a tree right here in front of you with the help of softwares and some equipments for every type of uh, uh, visualization that you want to create with the help of these technologies we will go through different equipments that you may require or maybe if you are interested to establish these type of labs in your organization so what are the basic essentials that you may need so we will talk about all those things on the other side we have virtual reality in which you are going to immerse into the digital world somehow so you are going to wear some headset you might have seen some uh, young generation uh, students or uh, gamers who keep on wearing some headsets in their eyes and they are lost into their own world without caring about what is happening around so although for the older generations that is a kind of mess up thing that we don't know what they are doing inside those headsets but that is a revolution in technology and they are able to experience almost everything within those headsets itself clearly if you are sitting right here in the conference hall you can even have a tour to paris or london right when you are sitting here by just wearing those headsets and it is such a realistic experience that you will feel the all the senses that you could otherwise have while traveling in those locations so there are so many factors that are involved behind so many types of sensors may be included in the entire system so starting with the very initial things what you may have in case of ar based environment when we are talking about a virtual creation so because when i have worked with these technologies uh, within this institute also we have some equipments on which we have worked on different experiments for this thing so what we used to do we used to create some objects in a software and then we used to project them within the room sometimes some palm trees we used to uh, create a reflection in the classroom or sometimes some big buildings were projected into the classroom and similarly depending upon in which area you are working for example maybe automobile sector you have so you can project the entire engine inside the room and students can explore every part of that so that i'll show you further with the help of some videos that how it may happen in real scenarios and then further we will be talking about how you integrate different things for example if you integrate this ar vr with iot and ai so how those senses may work in real time settings 
so this is definitely a very interesting topic to work upon and if anyone is further interested to explore they can have plenty of sources as well although the trainings on this ar and vr are currently very expensive because this is an emerging mm -hmm. area of work so although the expense is high uh, similarly for buying equipment etc that is also a expensive task but if your organization once gets those equipments your students will be having a other level of exposure in comparison to normal institutions where we are just uh, limited to book based reading till now so that is a totally different experience so first of all let me show you a general viewpoint that this is a kind of exposure we can create for students with the help of these uh, technologies they can visualize entire element of any machinery or anything they want to explore whether it is human anatomy or it is about some machineries this is just a image i have presented over here similarly they can have wonders of some space uh, related objects within the room itself so entire galaxy they can come across in the room and they can with their hands also they can interact through all these elements and they can explore every part of it there are so many mobile app based uh, applications also that you can install on your system and you can start exploring it here i have presented some equipments that are essential to start with these technologies so anyone who is interested to begin with in their organization with this ar and vr the first thing you need is these type of headsets so for example if we consider the vr case you may generally require these type of headsets that you can wear on your eyes in case of virtual reality because these box like headsets cut off you from the outside world and you can visualize everything within your eyes so that limits you from the external world and creates a whole new world in front of your eyes but at the same time they are equipped with some remotes we can say some handheld devices you will have and you can control all the movements inside those headsets uh, headsets with the help of these uh, remotes we can say they are dedicated right and left hand remotes you can have buttons on them and for example if you are trying to interact with a vr world by wearing those headsets the first safety thing you may need is you have to create a boundary for yourself because when we immerse into those headsets we forget about that people may be around us and we may hit someone around because we get so much immersed into those games or something else whatever we are visualizing so whenever we use that uh, when we have experienced those headsets the first thing it asks us is you have to create a boundary with the help of these handheld remotes so you just stand in the middle of your room uh, preferably and then you turn around with a boundary it will create a firing circle around you within which you can stand and you can start playing your games or whatever you want to explore within that whenever you jump across that boundary everything will shut down and it will give you a warning that you have come outside your boundary and you have to step back so that is definitely a safety for uh, the viewer as well as for the outside world who doesn't know that what the person wearing headset is doing so that is the first requirement on the other side when we talk about your ar related experiences in that case we require some goggles that are powered with some special effects and they can help you to visualize things in your real time settings so instead of immersing yourself into the digital content that involves some 360 degree viewing experience with vr headsets in case of ar you are just wearing some spectacles same as you always do and you can have a look around objects within the room itself so all the projections you can see with the help of those uh, goggles itself let us have a quick view with the help of this video that this particular device is launched by a company recently and you can see how students in different laboratories are exploring it this is the entire kit and this you can see a lab experiment students are doing they can interact with almost everything that is present on the system
So this is the entire kit a company has developed recently, Z Space. They have launched this for assisting students in AR, VR based learning so that they can experience everything instantly in their classroom environment. So this was a quick introduction to uh, experience with AR and VR technologies. Uh, it was sponsored by one company itself and they are providing these type of equipments to so many laboratories across the world so that students can experience this new technology in variety of ways, whether it is about medical domain, whether it is about scientific or technology domain, everywhere this is being used these days with a variety of softwares that can be added inside. So now we will start one by one first with augmented reality, and then we will switch to virtual reality. And after that, we'll be talking about mixed reality where we can combine all these technologies together. And I'll try to, provide you some experiences, of course, with the help of videos. That is the only possibility we have right now. So starting with your augmented reality, there are plenty of applications that you can experience. But the first thing is you need to have a compatible smartphone or tablet device that can uh, help you connect to different applications that can scan through the codes for AR applications because there are different types of books as well available these days where you can scan the QR code and then you can start experiencing some real time scenarios within those books itself. But that is not possible with simple books. They are AR powered books where you can scan QR codes on specific pages or the book itself can have entire QR code that you can scan once. And after that on every page you can experience uh, for example, if there is an image of motor itself, so you can visualize that motor in 3D motion with the help of your camera after scanning the QR code. So that example also I'll include further. So these projections you can have with the help of superimposed sound videos and there are so many types of graphics added into the scenario that makes this visualization more easier to understand for every student. And if we consider the experience of students, especially, so it can be like, uh, let me show you one example of this. Uh, this is one vocational educational training book that has been created with AR, VR based terminologies. And you can see they can scan through all the systems and then they can have a 3D view of them. So students are not limited to what the images are available. And it in turn meshes with and drives the movement of the second piece. A rotary vane pump is a positive displacement pump that consists of veins mounted to a rotor. The veins are on an off-center drive shaft. As the shaft rotates, the variable length veins slide in and out to maintain contact with the pump housing. come in many different forms. A swash plate is a device used to translate the motion of the rotate shaft into the reciprocating motion of a piston. Swash plate piston pumps have a rotating shaft connected to a cylinder block containing pistons which are pressed against a stationary swash plate that sits at an angle to the cylinder. of technology basically that we are able to visualize everything from the 3d environment itself 
So if we simply compare it with the scenario that we have experienced in our school education or college education, it was limited only to book pages. We could not see through, uh, ahead of that. And even at our times, it was not possible to get access to internet based videos so that we can experience everything in real time scenarios. But for today's generation, there are unlimited possibilities. And a step ahead of that, we have these AR, VR based technologies that can make the experiences totally uh, vast, we can say. And for example, if we consider an example of human anatomy, if students need to understand about that. So earlier, we used to have some limited equipments in the laboratories that students can have in their uh, bioscience classes, or they could either see things through images printed on the books only. But today, they can interact with the entire body with the help of this uh, AR, VR based experiences. So if they have some students have more interest in uh, diagnosing the heart related diseases, so they can limit themselves to that part only and they can diagnose every element of that section. Similarly, other uh, people, if they are interested more about brain related anatomy, they can go through that part in detail and they can experience everything into that. One more advantage of these AR based books is that they can also have quick markers within the text itself. So if you hit on that particular text with the help of the scanning device that you have, that can be your own smartphone or tablet itself. You need not to buy any other device for scanning purpose itself. If your device is AR enabled, then it can help you to go through those markers itself and they can further take you to new links for enhanced elaboration of any topic that you are in, in, interested to know about. So this can further create a new experience for students who want to go in depth with a specific topic itself. Earlier, what we had is we just have to go through multiple sets of books to make our understanding clear about a certain topic. But now everything is connected with the help of links and links and we can go through further with the help of these technologies and for every part we can have a further 3D visualization in every aspect. So this is. There are so many companies that are launching. Uh, one I was seeing a few hours ago. ASL is one company. ASEL. You can check that later also. ASEL. So I have checked that recently. They are also providing some books and uh, training content for this AR, VR enabled thing. And one video I have shown uh, to you recently that was from 3i, uh, i3D. So this company is also providing these type of books. But again, one more thing you need to know about this is uh, because the technologies are still in emerging stage and many other dimensions they have also to work upon. So if you need a specific content, for your domain itself or for your students itself, many companies are giving us opportunity to create organization based content. So whatever specific requirement you have, you can contact them and they can design books for you. And they are now getting cheaper as well as the technology is expanding. Things are getting cheaper. For example, if we talk about the headset itself that I have shown you earlier. So if you go ahead with big brands that started with the technology, for example, you can have it from Google itself or uh, uh, we have, I think, from uh, Samsung, etc. are also providing these headsets. So if you check headsets of these reputed companies, Oculus, etc. are also there, they will provide you a headset around 25,000, 35,000, depending upon features what they have. Similarly, some uh, new companies are also launching these type of devices at 4,000, 5,000. You will find plenty of options on Amazon. But still, one thing comes across is when you buy these devices, you always have to be careful about specifications. Because if a device is available at low cost, chances are that it will not support all the applications that you want to run in your premises. So going ahead with a high-end device gives you more flexibility to run variety of content. So those things you always have to check that when you are investing, invest on right product that can be useful for your students for coming several years instead of going ahead with a low budget uh, platform right now and then uh, you may have to invest more on variety of applications later because then you will be a uh, company dependent instead of considering variety of uh, environment so those things we have to keep in mind uh, so it is revolutionizing our content understanding at the same time the learning environment is changing 
because we are now able to experience everything in 3D. It is not limited to books itself. So in this, we can add on more hands-on approaches for the students. Instead of using simple lab equipments, we can create simulations for students where they can have more exposure to the field environments. So depending upon in which area you are training your students further, it may be like you want to send them to some civil construction sites. So it is generally difficult for new students to visit those sites due to some safety hazards that are already there or some issues related to how we maintain workers at those premises. It is not possible to send a bunch of students over there. But you can create some realistic experiences for them within the lab environment. You can train them on safety protocols while creating a visualization of your construction site here only. And then they can experience all those things with the simulations. After that, they are ready to go to the field, real field environments where they can do their work. And it increases the confidence level of students as well because they have experienced everything right from here. You can take an example of the driving license training these days. They are also getting simulation based. Many states are also organizing their final driving test also on the basis of simulators. So they do not take you to the real test uh, in the field. Rather on simulator itself, they take your test for driving and according to that only they can issue your license. So that is a kind of advancement we are having just with the help of this AR VR based advancement we have. One example you can see, we can have entire city plan on your table and we can interact with each element in that. So for example, if a new smart city is being developed and instead of creating projection in the field itself, we can first visualize every part on the table itself. We can create 3D projection for everything and then we can manage every part of that city. For example, if a hospital is proposed at wrong place, which is more prone to traffic, then we can shift that before constructing the real site. So all those safety measures we can take ahead of time before it's too late. Because you can see that several uh, cities are experiencing this issue due to improper management of residential, commercial and uh, road areas. And if these things are planned well with the help of prior initiative, with the help of these technologies, yes, for computer science students, uh, I'll see ahead because I have few more videos ahead or by the end I'll find you more. So that will be possible because uh, more work these days is happening in case of civil mechanical because there they have to explore the real parts itself. But in case of computer science, this is more uh, about AI and they are also involving IoT somehow into that. But yes, for uh, we can say in your uh, AR, VR, the gaming side, that has more scope because on that we have worked itself. Yes. So in gaming, you can find plenty of scope that is related to your CSC itself. Next to this, we have uh, collaboration is improved with the help of these systems. So instead of you are limited to a classroom environment, it is a shareable content that you can explore with the help of students. Wherever they are sitting, you can explore it together. But yes, limit again we have with the help of equipment if they are accessible or not. So that will stay for some time by now. As soon as organizations start uh, investing on these equipment, so that a uh, barrier we can remove and then it can become a common experience for all the students. And this thing could be more useful uh, during our pandemic time also, when students were not able to experience things in real time. And we have seen the scenarios when students took admissions to certain colleges for their graduation and they could not see their new college for entire one year. They went there uh, probably by second year or fourth semester and then they experienced the real laboratory settings or classroom environments. So if we had these technologies at access in those times also, it could be much easier for students to experience everything in real time. So even if they are having some training on uh, real parts like some electronic systems they have to design or some electrical systems or it is like welding training or fire safety trainings which is more common in iti etc diploma etc we have that workshop training but that those things were missing in case of pandemic because only theoretical sessions could be delivered the practical exposure was missing but these simulations can be an add-on over those things moving ahead with this 
we can have a sensory development for example i have added an example for welding workshop so how we can create a precise simulation for the students you can see on this window what student is doing this is here and what they are able to visualize this is the other side that they are seeing within their eyes so this is two sides of story the actual things that they are doing and real things that they are seeing through their eyes just to build their precision on the system without wasting any equipment from your laboratory itself this is just a simulation only but they are learning the precision as well almost every type of joint that we usually do with arc welding in workshops because we have also done that during our engineering systems and we have to deal with this type of training somehow but if these systems are present they are going to be more precise for new students So this is a company, uh, Boxford Limited, that are designing these type of equipments for the laboratory settings, where anyone can experience the real-time simulations, and they can train students. For example, if you give training to your student for a month on these type of simulators, you are going to avoid wastes of lakhs of rupees probably, because otherwise you have to get all those joints in real time. You have to use arc welding systems in real time. and all those things are going to waste time and again until and unless your students are not precise with their joints so this yes this is for learning purpose only you can do that for training purpose you can do that practically i want to fasten a bolt in nut yes is it possible similarly i have just imagine that i have yes yes like simulation you can do but that will definitely not put your nut here but yes for simulation you can do that yes that is possible you can do that uh, means we can say like you can so even uh, increase the cyclicity yes you can even uh, create entire assembly of your engine with this app itself you can disassemble it you can assemble it again so that entire process is possible you can go through every minute part of a automobile or any other machine that you want to experience so all those possibilities are there with these machines so let us have one idea about your construction site uh, okay so first this one is for electrical systems the electronics and electrical departments if any one of you are from these ones they can have the real time experience for the laboratory settings so you can see real time settings they have at one side they have simulation and the same thing they can repeat in the real time settings to practice things uh, so that it can be uh, sharp on their memories that how step by step processes can be done and definitely if students are away from the location they are not able to access the laboratory itself they can see the simulators they can experience all the connections for specific joints that you want to create and then accordingly they can practice it at their place only so proceeding ahead with other section that we have with virtual reality 
although these things appear same almost same when we try to experience as a beginner with them until and unless we have the device with us because then only the different experiences can be created yes for this virtual reality what you have there is a eye covering headset that i already told you that it will disconnect you from the outside world and then how we design this entire system that is more important because in case of these vr systems you are involved with a complete coding environment that is used to create the software based application for you in which you can immerse yourself so there are plenty of softwares because depending upon what is the interest of students or the learners further if they are more into application side they can use the headsets and based on that they can build up something for that but other side of the story is if your students are more interested in coding system if they are more into the development of the softwares they can learn these softwares such as infinity we have unity we have these are some most commonly used softwares for this vr application developments so you can create entire code there is a big system within the unity that supports almost thousands of uh, tools inside within unity you will have thousands of further sub options that can help you create entire vr application so it is some visual studio you may also require and you can do coding in that and it supports multiple coding languages also further if you have different extensions for it and you can design those systems for example uh, once we uh, were working on this type of coding environments so one thing is you can pick and place some things within that unit environment so it allows you to browse some characters from internet itself such as a robot you can browse from internet and then that particular robot will start working in the environment created by you so like you can create a taran if we consider the gaming part itself so you can create a taran in which you can add some plants you can add vehicles or you can add your robot you can even mimic your own character in that taran and it will start exploring the area around so that 3d experience you can create yourself if you learn that coding environment on unity or infinity like like softwares i'll be providing a list of different softwares by the end of the session as well that you can consider if you are interested in developing systems instead of just using systems because there are two ends back end developer and front end users we can say so in which side you are interested to go ahead with you can choose that and there are unlimited scopes as well whether it is for you or your students further these technologies are showing a great career boost these days and lakhs of salaries are available per month so depending upon how you brush up your skills although the courses on this unity and the infinity platforms you can find like three month courses or year long courses or some post graduate programs are also running these days so fees is expensive right now but if you join that there is a flourishing career definitely you can have high paying jobs and definitely if you go into the gaming environment you are going to have a entertaining career also however at the same time if you go ahead with the real estate where this uh, uh, sector is having more scope for ar and vr how it is going to work in your uh, real estate uh, if we take a general example you might have heard about 360 degree tour to your sites before you plan your uh, purchase to a site you can have a 360 degree tour to that so that was an initial concept that started with the technology but now it is advancing further with the help of these ar based visualizations so what you can do if you have finalized your flat maybe apartment you have finalized and now you are ready for the uh, furnishings or the interior decors so you can create a projection of everything within that room you can project the paint colors you can finalize them based on the choices you have then you can project the dining table sofa or every element that you want to add into your premises the color combinations you can choose based on that or anything that you have for your interior decor and it will definitely create some outstanding experiences for the buyers as well as people who are going to live in those premises uh, for the long run because everything will be as per your choice so instead of you buy a sofa of 30000 and then you regret that it doesn't match with the interiors that i have you can first project everything with a specific color and everything uh, finished 
as per your requirement and then definitely you can order a specific place for your premises and you can have that based on this only further we have uh, for this virtual reality technology let me show you one experience with the help of this video this is for lab setting if we want to create this is with the help of the headset when you pick it so you can pick and place every equipment available in the lab and students can use that you can see the real time settings they have they have instructions as well side by side that what they have to do next this is for electronics lab you can have this type of settings or electrical also they can have these type of settings all these selections you can do in real time once you wear that headset you can choose everything as per your choice same as you have in real lab settings you can see everything is falling like a real environment so this is one electronic lab simulator and this is not limited that you can have this lab setup only you can create a virtual simulation of labs in your institute itself everything that you have in your institute that can be simulated into a lab setting and then that you can put inside the headset that you have the application can be run inside your headset and students can experience that for simulation purpose and once they are trained on a specific setting then they can go into the lab setting itself so this creates a experience based learning for students for example if you are not able to send your first year students to the delicate equipment handling in the laboratories you can start with the simulator first you can give them these headsets and they can just practice things as a beginner and once they are trained they can go to real time settings and they already know what is register what is transistor everything they have learned in the simulator now they just have to pick and place the real equipments and it is going to be more uh, cost saving as well as time saving for teachers as well as students because you have to put less effort to deal with real settings in your uh, laboratories this is same for your electrical departments as well where they have to deal with entire uh, wirings so they can fix up these joints every household uh, wirings or everything they can do in real time settings they can test their joints and after that they can uh, see if lamps or fans are working fine or not no one will allow a student to do wiring at their home but they can at least do uh, this thing to learn everything in real manner so this one is a uh, app designed by conductive and wobbling these companies are working on this thing and further you can have the most interesting part is here virtual field trips that i'm uh, talking about for construction sites especially if you are not sending your students to real settings you can definitely create a virtual trip for them within your campus itself and how it is going to work there are so many graphic based images or views imposed in the settings uh, within the conference hall itself or whatever hall you have there only you can project everything and students will be able to experience that entire setting 
So this one will be a lengthy video where we have the entire safety training for students. You can see this for construction site. Students are able to see all the safety warnings as well as instructions that they have to follow at construction site. So you can see the to-do list. They have to wear their gloves, they have to take their helmet and they have to wear all the dresses properly and then they can move ahead. So one by one, they can follow the instructions and they can move ahead at construction site. So you can see the next instructions they are getting and they have to climb to the next uh, platform. Even about using safety ropes, how they have to connect and disconnect them at times. Because construction site lifts are very, uh, we can say, delicate to use. They have to use materials also in them. So that training also students can get through simulators itself. The barry gates they may have at site, every guidance you can provide them earlier. It is also possible to add uh, penalties and uh, appraisals also in this entire simulation. So if student is doing it right, they can have appreciation within the system itself. So they can see the markers for things to do. And here, corrections for their work. safety warnings also that they do not have to go to the edge of the roof those things are also added mission failed so quick instructions they are getting if they have done something wrong
because if these mistakes are done in real time construction settings that is a uh, brick uh, critical situation we can create So this is just a quick visualization of how we can experience. Yes. Basically, I have heard a lot from metaphors. So yes. I would like to ask something related to something related to the possibility or something. Yes, metaverse say is including so many technologies, including AR, VR itself, because we are projecting something into that. I'll be showing you one example of hologram also by the end, because all those things are coming into metaverse itself. What we are doing in metaverse itself. we are just mimicking ourselves in digital world so whatever we are doing in real time settings we are trying to mimic it over uh, that digital world itself so that is a kind of this virtual reality itself because we are projecting ourselves in that world and every task that we do in real time settings that is available over there as well you can even create characters that look like you so that similar situation you can create for your entire life although at current stage it looks like uh, we are doing something waste of time that why we need to create that unrealistic life for us when we have that but yes people are interested in working in that area also because this is definitely an advancement in technology and if we can create everything in digital sphere itself so it also has some advantages we can have some uh, scenarios that we can predict in advance that yes if we follow uh, sequences in this manner so what may happen next and those things are uh, something a learning point for real life scenarios also so there are plenty of applications for this metaverse itself and these technologies are helping over there so this is uh, a kind of distance learning also we have supported with the recent video that we have created so instead of being at real time settings we are able to do everything from distance to learn about the scenarios that are in the field environment similarly we can have a for example if someone or some of you are working in medical health domain here comes the most important application of your vr technology because the critical zones we cannot send students over there when there is a life and death situation but we have to train students for those situations as well simulators can help there trying to remember the right algorithms can't sound familiar it does to your clinical staff ACLS competency decays within months after certification for those who work in non-critical care areas. With today's in-hospital cardiac arrest survival rates of 11 to 35 percent, it's clear that we can do better. So, how can you implement? So the person can wear the headset, and they will be projected into an emergency room where they can have the critical care instances. So you can see it instantly. And they can even interact with these doctors that are available in this setting. You will see the entire system. Mr. Nelson is a 56-year-old man who's here for a pick line. The learner takes on the role of team lead, identifying different cardiac waveforms and using state-of-the-art voice recognition technology to. This is also to test student abilities. because when they will be sent to this critical care units the people that are projected over there they will be asking them questions that this is the condition of patient so tell me what injection i have to give or what medicine we have to give or at what rate we have to proceed ahead so all those decisions students will be taking part in so that will be live training for them for critical care itself correct virtual team members andre start chest compressions starting compression to shock Perform CPR. So let's let's go ahead and shock the patient. Charge it. Oh, cool. And administer meds. Karen, administer one milligram of epinephrine. Giving one milligram of epinephrine. Following AHA guidelines, the VR simulation reinforces addressing team members by name and making eye contact. Phyllis, give six milligrams of epinephrine. Please use the name of the person with whom you are speaking. Test situational awareness of team member fatigue, task performance, and code management principles. I would need to switch. Let's switch trust compressors and strengthens closed loop communications, giving adenosine six milligrams. It has all of the AHA core rhythms plus post arrest care. The end tidal CO2 just spike. It lets your team easily practice, assess, and validate skills on their schedules. 
Learners are provided a debrief on failed waveform identification and on general code management principles needing improvement. This simulation is over. Let's debrief. Thank you for taking the ACLS VR assessment. Unfortunately, you did not pass. The so the pass fail assessment can be also done in real time settings over there. ACLS virtual reality simulation can be done whenever, wherever, and however often it's needed at scale. With so this involves a high tech training experience for medical domain as well. And we can avoid some critical care mistakes as well. And this is going to be a life savior for everyone because doctors before they are ready to go to ICU, if we send them there, there can be some big blunders with the life of people. So these type of trainings are really very useful. And many organizations that train doctors have started adopting these things now so that they can have real time scenarios. And you can see in this video, they were interacting with each other. Even the projected things were able to in the react uh, as per the instructions given on both ends. So even in the middle, uh, the projected persons interrupted the user that you have to talk by name to the people. So that is a team building skill also they are providing. That because when they will be in critical care unit, so which nurse has to apply this thing, they have to address them by name. So all those critical things, we can train students on them in these uh, environments. And proceeding with this, when we talk about training environments, we have one more critical scenario that is fire safety training. Because we cannot put a house on fire to train students. That is a critical scenario. But we can do that with the help of these simulations. And how that becomes much easier, we have an entire kit from this VR fire trainer system. And they can put a fire, a simulation based fire. And then they can train you to use extinguishers with a specific rating over there. Depending upon what are the scenarios and what materials you may have to use, what chemical balancing you have to use, everything can be trained in real time settings. So this was your initial uh, understanding about how we deal with these technologies. And when we combine them with other systems like IoT and AI, how they are going to be helpful for the entire world. Then comes to the next technology that is mixed reality, combination of all these things and with a sensor based technologies that we can add further. So this mixed reality is going to combine your real and digital things together. So one scenario is when we have seen the simulations. In that case, we are not able to sense things. It is not like a sensory experience if we are just visualizing things through that headset. But in mixed reality, we can further create a sensory experience for the users. And how that is done with the help of some additional sensors and actuators that are powered by your AI-based and IoT-based systems. How it may work, I can give you one example. Uh, I used to develop content for a Singapore-based company a few years back. And what they were doing, basically, they were creating some emerging experiences for uh, people who visit them. It was for tourists, basically. So they have created a tunnel over there in which they have created different sensory experiences by merging these different technologies. So what they used to do, they had a bunch of sensors with them and AI based uh, changes that they could make in real time settings. So that tunnel had four different sections through which they used to pass the uh, tourist trains. So tourists will sit in a train and they will be entering the tunnel itself. At first stage, they will be having a very pleasant weather with the help of sensors. They will be creating that system. So sensors will be used to sense the environmental conditions of that particular tunnel area. And some projections in that area will be done with the help of AR based technologies. So that AR will create some sceneries around like some uh, beach sceneries will be created or some mountain based sceneries will be created. And based on that only, based on the location that we have projected, the sensory experiences will be created. So sensors first will measure the temperature and humidity conditions over there. And based on those real-time measurements, the AI-based system will take decision 
that what we have to project in that environment to create the senses over there. So if it is a hill area projected in the scenario, so it will be a flow of wind will be created with the help of actuators and some sensors will be introduced to create a, a we can say like cold environment over there. So all those sensors and actuators with AI based power will work together to create that first level of experience. In the second set, they will have another setting with a fire like condition. The train will be passing through and there will be fire around. And in order to create a sensory experience for that fire, they will raise the temperature with the help of sensors. And that will be felt by our senses. The skin will feel that, that yes, we are actually into that fire prone areas. And that will be the second part of the tunnel. In the next part, they have created some ghost-like experiences. So they will project some ghost in that uh, tunnel next to that. And with that, they will be creating some very cold waves beside that with some lighting uh, controls that will be completely with the help of sensors and AI based controls based on how uh, people are having the thrill inside that tunnel. So accordingly, everything will be projected over there. And similarly, in the next set, they used to have experience of rain. So they will be projecting rain, although it will not be a real rain. But still, with the help of sensors and actuators, you will feel like your skin is sensing that rain that is being projected over there. So that was a tiny experience they have created by creating this mixed reality. And it can uh, give you a real pleasure of like you are sitting in the actual settings over there without having all those situations in real time scenario. So that is a part of your mixed reality. When we are combining things together, when we are talking about AR, in case of AR, you are projecting one thing, but you are not able to have a feel of that. The sensory experiences are added. Yes, we are adding some sensory experiences into that, which will create the real time scenarios for you. So it will be based on few essential things first we have the environmental understanding that is required because according to that only we'll be using different sensors and the ai based powers similarly how the human beings we want to make them feel so how people are going through that particular scenario and what are the sensory experiences that they are demanding for that scenario so that will be enabled by whether it is based on speech movements or whether it is based on some uh, sounds, whatever we want to create in that area. Then we have 360 degree sound experiences because for example, a ghost based experience if we have to create. So there will be some different kinds of sounds coming through all the direction. So that requires a special 360 degree sound creation over there. And similarly, the locations and positioning system. Because if we have projected something from a specific location, based on that only we have to project all the sensors and actuators. <coughs> and lastly, the 3D assets that will be based with the help of your headsets or the goggles that will be wearing based on AR and VR experience that you are combining with that. So next to this, if we need to see the real time experiences with this, for MR side, there are so many areas that are still required to uh, have some more work on such as uh, if we have to manage it as, as per the specific experience of a person. For example, we have a group of people over there, but each one of them may have a different sensory experiences based on how they uh, experience through that entire scenario. So if we can create an individualized experience, even when there is a group of people, so that is a further advancement where people can work around. And similarly, some object based locations or if we can have some add ons based on if we have limited things in the conference hall, but we can have additional projections in such a manner that a realistic approach with the help of sensory signals can be created and we can have that touch based exposure for the uh, people. One be best example for this uh, mixed reality I can show you is without any goggles or without anything, students are able to see this in the classroom. So this is just an empty space. You can see they are sitting around. They are not wearing anything, but still the sensory experience is created for them and they can have the real projection in there in front of them. So you can have it again. 
yes 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 that is also added on to so again the water is uh, faded away it was just an instant projection that they had experienced over here and similarly one advancement further is with the help of holographic devices you might have heard about it if you have into 3d gaming etc and many uh, technical institutes are currently investing on these holographic devices even if they are not using it for research but at least for presentation they are having it in their environments and how it may help let us have a experience of that a holographic device how we can create the entire projections within a room so you can see how they can interact with this world so this you can see that i have explained you recently the ghost like experiences they have created in gaming sector so this is a tree based projection that i was talking about this can be done in any room and they can have an experience over it So this was a quick view of how these technologies are available in almost every sector we can say in this video itself you have seen that uh, including entertainment sector including educational sector as well as business industries everywhere these things are useful these days and somehow the coming generations are on great benefit if these things are involved in their day to day lives now for uh, developing these type of uh, applications or simulations if you need further information you can go through these different sources of educational ar vr content i have included some company names over here that provide some support for the educational content if you need some of these for your institutions you can consider contacting them or you can find some existing content also on their website itself and some of these are available with uh, we can say like some free versions you may also get for uh, instant uh, viewing or experiences 
but if you want to develop something as per your requirement only as per your organization or syllabus that you want to follow then you can order them many of them support spe specialized content also for different organizations and along with this if you are more into tool and app designing part more interested into building these applications or coding side itself so then you have these set of softwares available with you and you can pick up these like for example this overlay app you can find uh, online also and they allow you to use some drag and drop tools directly and you can create some minute versions of your ar videos and then you can generate a qr code online itself and then you can scan that qr code with your mobile phone and then you can experience whatever you have created but yes for the minor level when you have to go ahead then of course you have to go ahead with subscriptions over there and then they can provide you some enhanced access to their libra libraries similarly these softwares you can learn for specific coding development if you want to develop entire application then you can learn these and they are very vast softwares itself uh, they can support almost every domain for development whether it is about gaming entertainment education or business sector for every sector you can develop your applications using these softwares only and similarly these three are also available from some of the most reputed companies you can have and they provide complete studios with ar and vr merged together and you can create some reality experiences over them so these were the most essential details i could provide you on ar vr based content i tried to keep it very basic so that at least you can have an introduction to the technology 